Hello, welcome to Dance Vision. My name is Victor Verasse and this is my wife Heather Smith and we'd like to welcome you to International Open Silver Foxtrot Variations. So if you're ready, let's get started. <laughs> Variation number one, exit A. Five, six, seven, eight, slow, quick, 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 and quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And now I'd like to demonstrate the man's foot positions. So gentlemen, we step to the side on the right foot. Forward left, forward right, forward left, forward right, outside partner. Forward left, side right, back left, back right. Pivoting, holding the left foot in CBMP. Forward left, side right, left foot crosses in front of right foot, back right, back left, swiveling to a sideward position, rising up, back right, back left, side right, forward left, forward right, outside partner, forward left, forward right, outside partner. And now the timing. Five, six, seven, eight, slow, quick, 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 and quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And now Heather will show us the ladies' part. And now the ladies' foot positions for this. We step to the side on our left on our initial prepara preparation. To the side, right foot back, left foot back, right foot back, left foot back. Right foot back, left foot back, right foot back. Now from here the right foot is actually going to swivel and then I'm going to pivot forward on my left foot. From this point we step back on the right, side step on the left, right foot closes to left foot. Left foot forward, right foot forward, swiveling, replacing left foot forward, right foot forward, left foot to the side, right foot diagonally back, left foot back, right foot back, left foot back. And now our timing for this group will be, we step to the side and we dance a five, six, seven, eight, slow, quick, 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 and quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And now I'd like to invite Victor back and we'll go through some of the finer details with you on this figure. We'll start from the beginning. We'll discuss the man's technique first on shoulder so you can see more clearly. So as we step to the side right, gentlemen, we're going to turn our body slightly to the left, forward left. We rotate through the left leg and hip, again focusing on the next step that we're going to connect our right shoulder and hip to an axis point. So as I step forward on the left foot, I'm revolving through the left leg and hip, connecting down to that slow. Again, being careful not to take the head weight too far to the right uh, as to lean on the lady. So we'll demonstrate that for you. So we have five, six, seven, eight, slow, and we connect. Now from this point, as the left leg swings out ahead of the body, we will have no further rotation. The incline increases very subtly. We have quick, quick. Now from here, as I lower through my right leg and hip, I need to dissolve that sway and drive the lady back into a fall away. So what I want to focus on in terms of my power of movement is that as I dissolve the angle from the feather, I'm driving the lady back into a fall away as I continue to turn to the left. 
What I want to focus on with my shape is that my left shoulder and hip are starting to connect down. We continue turning, quick, 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 and pivot. Now from here, our V-knees cross. We rotate through the right leg and hip again. I place the lady to the inside of turn. I take my head, my left shoulder and hip again, and connect it down. Right leg swings out ahead, and we cross in front, and we lower. Now from here, as I lower, I'm going to curve slightly into the lady's path. My next step back will stay exactly with the lady. We want to be careful here, gentlemen, not to over-rotate with that left foot back because we'll send the lady uh, too far past us. So we want to feel that we keep the, bo the body in line with the lady a little bit longer as I rise up through my left leg and hip. I use it as a lever. We rise up my body and head, then finish with the lady, okay? Now, <clears throat> as I rise up, I want to feel that, again, my body and head are last. I stretch up diagonally through my left side, focusing right over the lady's head. So from here, so I step back, change weight, rise up. I give her the shape change, my body and head, finish with hers, and we recover. Now from here, I rotate through my right leg and hip, changing the angle. My right leg swings out ahead, and that produces a left shape. Now from here, I go forward left. I'm rotating back into my feather step, connecting my shoulder and hip down again. Continue, quick, quick. And now the ladies' technique for this. So we start off with our initial preparation on the feather. And we start off by allowing our left hip to dance uh, backwards, which allows the man's right side as well to come forward. So from here, we want to release the base. Always remember, ladies, that whenever you're dancing backwards, the speed in which your hips are delivered is just slightly, slightly faster than the shoulders. What you don't ever want to do is, you know, dance the shoulder speed and hip speed exactly the same because that will pull a man towards you. So whenever you're dancing a backward action, the, the poise of the body is a little bit further forward over the toe. The head is back and the center is back, but you're allowing space in the, in the uh, hip girdle area to um, open the door for the man to swing through you. So from here we'll do the feather. I'll anchor the left shoulder and left hip. Open the hip and hold that shape through the quick quick. Do not try and do any more activity through the quick quick of the feather. Now commencing into the fall away, I'm going to start the rotation again through the uh, supporting leg and hip which is the left. The right shoulder and hip go down and I will feel from this point that the anchorage point through my shoulder and hip will remain down throughout the whole of the fall away. So I'm going to take three steps back, which will give me a diagonal stretch up through my left side. So I have one, two, three. So if you can see, ladies, I'm not going to pull a man's body weight backwards. My head is left, but my left side is very, very strongly stretched. Dance the slip pivot, maintaining the body in this position and activating the legs and feet a little bit sooner. So from the actual uh, last step of the fall away, I'm going to use the right foot to push up and swivel and then pivot on the left. I want to make sure that you don't square the shoulders off. Then the V-knees cross, it's the same action. It's a backward action. I'm going to curve the hips. I'm going to anchor the right shoulder and hip to allow him past me. Victor will produce a little bit more shape here, which will cause my head to open. Now, ladies, the biggest tendency at this point is to try and attack the man's body because you're in a forward action now. Make sure the thing that is driving is the knees and the thighs, not the upper body. So drive the legs forward, legs forward again. Now I'm going to swing that leg, get to the foot, swivel the feet, and develop the body curve. Okay, now from here as I, as I commence to move out, I'm going to push off the right leg, slide the left foot forward, dance the right leg from here, outside partner position, into my hovering action. Now from here we do our feather finish. I'm going to, as I receive weight in the ball of the right foot, I'm going to release the right hip, take the head left, and hold and maintain the angle through my body. And now at this time, I'd love to dance this to music with Victor. <laughs> <laughs> 